forum. So we will continue with our DNAC SD Access Bootcamp. And now, so we have built the fabric. We will look into some of the maintenance or uh, uh, troubleshooting tasks. Two of the main tasks is running RCA. So if you are running into some problem, Cisco TAC may ask you to present show tech uh, kind of output, which is called RCA, root cause analysis uh, uh, logs in DNA Center. And also the Aura uh, report, which is health check performed for DNA Center services and um, workflows, right? So starting DNAC release 2.3x and above, you can run RCA from DNAC UI. Earlier, if you wanted to collect RCA, you have to log into the individual node and log into individual node maglev CLI. And from there, you can do sudo RCA validate yourself. And then the DNAC will go ahead, fetch the RCA or code dump and save it in the uh, directory. Now you can do the same thing from UI itself. So it is the RCA service is exposed to UI now. Another thing is the health check. So if you want to kind of run health check, how your DNAC cluster is doing, how different services are doing, then you can run a health check. And previously you have seen, I shown you how to run Aura report presented by Cisco engineers. So you can uh, clone Aura into your DNAC and then just simply run that script. Now you have inbuilt health checker and I'll show you how to run that. Please mind, you may require admin role to perform RCA and uh, health check actions. All right, so let's go to our DNA center. And before we go to DNA center, if you want to go back and check the Aura video, the link is in description. You can always go back and watch this video. Very useful. All right, so this is our DNA center. And first we are going to perform RCA, right? What is RCA? RCA is uh, root cause analysis or RCA support file. As it can say, root cause analysis collection utility. So it's a collection of uh, script or utility which fetch various show tech command output for you, right? Where it is hidden in UI. So go to this hamburger menu. From that hamburger menu, go to system. System health. Now system health has so many uh, utilities. So you would like to come and visit here. As you can see, this is showing a orange uh, symbol. That means I have not populated my CMC address detail. So if you have not populated your CMC address detail, please go ahead and do so. However, for system, uh, within system, system health, First, we are going to run our RCA. So you can see there are three utilities, network ping, validation tool, and system analyzer. Let's go to system analyzer. Since we, I'm doing this first time, I, I'm, pre I'm presenting this screen. Otherwise, you will see that you have already done your system analyzer and there are certain files available already. So all you can do is like say add or create a new one. But since this is the first time, we are presented with this screen new system analyzer run okay give it a name say rca you can put some description notes etc and now you can see select a system analyzer to run sda system swim so which one is rca if tac is requesting you rca which option is that select the radio button system try to expand this take logs for full system this is what we want as an rca other options for SDA troubleshooting. If you are an SDA customer, you want to troubleshoot and tag want to some troubleshooting around SDA, then you can fetch this log. Or if you are having any issues with automatic image management or auto upgrade of your network devices, that is called SWIM feature. Software image management, you can collect SWIM. But in this video, we are focused on RCA. So we'll select system and say run. Success, RCA started, and as you can see, it is running in progress. And mind it, based on how loaded is your DNAT, that means how many services and uh, 
the devices you have, it may take some time. So as you can see, first time I was presented with the workflow. Next time, if you want to run, you simply come to system analyzer and add one more RCA and so on. Once this is done, where we should be able to download it from here. Okay. So let's go back, uh, let it run. And what we can do, we can go to system health. And meantime, we can start checking on aura or health check. And for that, it is called validation tool. Within validation tool, you can see I already created one uh, validation earlier. So that's either I can see the status, I can export, or I can create a new one. So let's try to create a new one. I'm going to say valid September something. And then you have two options here assurance health validation and it will tell you what all it is doing so it is actually uh, it will go and run checks to the assurance side of the fabric or ndp side of the fabric and all the detail list are here i'm interested in all of them and then if you're planning for your upgrade please go ahead and run upgrade validation test so that you know if your system is ready for a new software upgrade or no so I'm going to click on this as well for demonstration purpose. And this is the complete list of checks DNAC is going to make, all right? So let's say run, valid step submitted for run status in progress. So right now I have an RCA running, I have an validation running. I hope they don't make uh, any conflict, but let's see. Meantime, let's go back to this is still in progress, so we will let it run. Go back and check our RCA or system analyzer state. Still running. As I mentioned, since we have SDA fabric and we are running a lot of services, it can take some time, so please be patient. Once this is finished, you can simply come and download uh, because it's difficult to parse RCA um, as, as a you, with the human eyes, you need some technical parser or some tools to parse that. However, network validation tool is for human consumption. So right now you see my validation is completed and status is warning. That means I have some warning messages uh, in my report. So let's go ahead and watch the report together. This is my report. Assurance health validation and upgrade validation set. And in both, I have this orange uh, banner. That means there are some warnings available. You can sort them like uh, status. I can sort them with warning uh, alphabetically. So I want to see the warning first. So let me reverse sort it. And you can see validation assurance pod memory health warning assurance service pipeline memory uses is above 90 percent so i'm hitting some uh, threshold for memory and we will talk about pipeline in probably some other video but that is one of the key component for assurance services so somewhere i have um, utilization memory utilization above 90 percent and that's why it is giving me a warning other than that uh, everything is looks good information perspective, but still go ahead and give it a read. I can post this uh, in our GitHub site so you can download this and check out the report yourself. All right, let's do the same thing. First, look at the warning. So last backup current is seven days old. So it is recommended to take recent backup. And since I have backup, which is seven day old, it is giving me a warning. And these are upgrade validation check. So backup is really critical uh, before you upgrade, right? So I have all the sufficient disk, uh, disk space, data space, and all those things looks good. Ice check is looks good. So either you can copy. I don't think copy is a very uh, good use of it. So we can simply export. And as soon as you hit export, it's going to download it locally to your machine. 
nice and easy. Let's go back and look at system analyzer now. Hopefully, this is complete. Status in progress. And I think you can delete from a UI also once it is available. So you don't want to keep a lot of RCA hanging into your system, taking resources. So it's better to delete the RCAs once you already root cause your issues. All right, if you want to learn more about this, what is your, the Cisco documentation is your best friend. And to access Cisco documentation, what you have to do from your DNAC, click on this help icon and under that help, click on help. It is a hyperlink and it will, it will open the Cisco documentation. Within Cisco documentation, it's difficult to remember everything or master it all, right? So rely on documentation. We are working with system analyzer. So let me search system analyzer. Use of system analyzer tool. And you can go to the very top. Use of validation tool. As you can see, use of system analyzer tool. And this is a fantastic documentation. It take tell you how to do things and what this technology is all about. As you can see, system analyzer tool require 5 GB of disk space in Gluster FS file system and all those things. Uh, an admin user can start system analyzer run, download the log file, delete, completed run. All other users can only view the uh, selected run, right? Simply for navigation tool, validation tool test both Cisco DNS Center appliance hardware and connected external systems like ICE and uh, IPAM. Identity any issue that we addressed before seriously impacted. So we have seen this, uh, what, what is presented in the report. And if you want to see how to run the report, everything with the screenshot is mentioned here. So the documentations are getting better and better. You will find a lot of your questions answered by reading the topic within the documentation and you know how to perform things. So I highly advise you before you reach out to any forum, any tech engineer, please go and read the documentation from your DNA center so that you will be presented with the right set of documentation exactly related to the software what you have because it is, it's a cross launch. Now let's go back and see what is how my RC is doing. Still uh, in progress. So I think this is a good time. We uh, pause the video and come back. So let me pause the video and I'll come back. Thank you. Now, as you can see, the RCA or system analyzer run has been completed. So this took 14 minute 46 second. Now, so you RCA is completed. We can select it and we can delete if you want. However, before we delete it, we want to look at the details, name, type is system. Uh, so you remember you have three types, SDA, SVM and system, VRAN system, and overall status is success. It took 14 minutes and the size is 83.23 MB. Status is success. You can expand this event and you can see where exactly it spent time, right? So 10 minutes. Uh, and so spent on connection, uh, collection task executed successfully and namespace app hosting and all those things. So more you have services, the more time it will take. All right. Now the goal was to uh, create an RCA and download this. Download for the log RCA started depend on the file size and network speed. All right, so again, yeah, you can see it will take some time and I do not have any plan to uh, untar it and uh, try to look what is inside. It is going to download a tar file or tzz file and you can simply go ahead and upload it to the tag case. All right, so this is all I wanted to show. Thank you very much.